Now, if you're going through a rough point, this next story may be what you need to hear this morning. Meet a local teacher whose face you may now see at the checkout counter, all because he never gave up. So, like I said, today, first thing first, go ahead and start working on the, um, the article. Cohen Collier is a dedicated teacher. Set. A caring track coach and decorated athlete. As a son and dad, like, relationship is pretty much a lot of like don't give up a dedicated father even a published author but for a while collier saw himself as something different so we left and went to iraq and that in 2009 unfortunately during that time period i was hit by um, a roadside bomb and had extensive injuries and to the point where they actually thought I was not going to make it because I had lost so much blood. I would never wear shorts because I never wanted nobody to see my leg. Though he lost most of his leg and hand, he says losing his drive and sense of purpose is what set him back the most. The first low point is the very first time I tried to get up and walk. And I couldn't, I couldn't stand up. I couldn't stand up and walk. And I remember just crying my eyes out. So. When my wife finally noticed it, she kind of was like, you need to go sit down and talk with somebody. And it, it wasn't until I, um, and it was also during the time that she was pregnant with my last son because I was so worried about how my son was going to view me as far as with the injuries and things like that. And she kind of helped too. She was like, he's only going to know you as you. Collier went to therapy twice a week. He graduated from the University of Akron with a degree in education, and it just so happened his alma mater, Maple Heights High School, needed a history teacher at that time. And 10 years later, Collier has turned his pain into purpose. I do so many different one-on-one -on -one sessions, and like I said, most of the time it's just kids want to vent. I'm like, trust me, if you look at your life, you got way more ups than you got downs. And I think that's what I try to get them to understand as they come through this door. And that determination landed him on the cover of Men's Health for January as the winner of their Ultimate Guide 2023 competition. Well, let's see how folks at home Guess what? <laughs> it's you! And it caught me off guard because I really didn't think I was gonna win. Like I said, I was just happy to be a finalist. So nowadays, Cohen Collier sees himself a bit different. On top of athlete, veteran, teacher, Purple Heart recipient, and author, he can add Men's Health Ultimate Guide to his resume. But he credits the people in his life for getting him to today. We were outside one day and I finally got to see him run on his leg again for the first time, so that was really cool. He do a lot, so I feel like it's like a reward for him, and I feel like he truly deserves it. And I, and I always tell him, like, I grew up here. I'm from the same neighborhood y'all from, and, and I'm making things happen with my life, and that, you know, most people would have gave up and quit on, and we always, you know what I'm saying, and I always tell him, like, I never quit. I, I might have had a down moment, but I never quit. I told you he was going to inspire you. The book Collier mentioned is called Counted Out, and it's on store shelves as we speak. We have a link right for that, WKYC.com. What an inspiration. Yeah. I mean, I think we all need sometimes that little push, and he's giving it to us. I think the kids also need to see him. Mm -hmm. You know, here's a guy who clearly was on the Today Show with his book yeah. and and making a national name for himself and the fact that he says, I'm right, I'm from where you're from. Yes. They need that. He's never lost track Oh of my that. gosh, yeah. incredible.